In this video I will cover how to dress up a connector. So many times in automotive harnesses you will end up with this kind of situation where you have a cable coming in at 90 degrees immediately the cable bends and you have a connector and this is mass production automotive you will see how those harnesses look if uh, you haven't already watched the videos so this is just a bundle of wires with tape from uh, place to place and right before it arrives at the connector they have a rule that the tape has to finish probably 30 millimeters before they arrive here so you can imagine that from here there are just wires going to each cavity into this connector so you don't use back shells if you don't have to also the wires the connectors might have seals in each cavity so the water will not get inside even if this is undressed here and you can do this but this is not realistical because you have a bundle of wire finishing here when in reality you have many small wires coming and forming forming a bundle here where the tape starts and you also have this issue because the cable is red it seems like it's not respecting the band radius but the small wires here will bend so it will not be a problem in this area but you still cannot get rid of this red line and you it's mandatory to do that so you cannot have those red lines in 3d cad in a company so in a situations like this you need to make this detail with the wires coming another problem in cases like this if this clip will be very close to the connectors the manufacturing plant will produce this with this straight with this connector in a straight position so when you will try to bend it the wires that go from this side of the bundle into this side of the connector will be extremely tense and the wires coming here will be extremely loose so this will can create problems with the pins can cause the pins to come out and ruin the harness and also maybe they cannot mount this or it will cause the connector to rotate on its clip so that's a bad design that's not a good design so that's why you need to dress up the wires and show to the manufacturing plant that they need to add longer wires on this side and shorter wires on this side for this to bend and let's do that and continue the discussion when we have the CAD on the screen so this is how we can do this we need to remove this part of the harness so let's remove this point click OK in here we will consider that there will be an extra 20 millimeters of tape outside of the clip So let's add before, we'll add another point here and make this straight. This is because we have slack on all the bundles so we need to remove this slack here and if we need we will add local slack. So let's say that every wire has one millimeter diameter. We check the data sheet and we find this uh, information. And we need to add a wire into each cavity so for that we need to add points in all the cavities so let's double click on the point select here circle sphere ellipse center if you have connectors that have square cavities and you can add the point you can you cannot add a point just add the sketch on this surface and add a point in the sketch for each square cavity And now we can start and design the one millimeter bundles. And in here, very realistic it will be to add a sketch on this bundle and draw circles everywhere of how the wires would be in the bundle and then from each circle to design bundles. But we are not going to do that because it's not needed. So we only need lengths and uh, this we can use the same point here, the same central point. Mm -hmm. 
and once you added one bundle you can use the center curve of that one for all the others as a tangency Now here we have all the wires, so I checked the catalog and I see that those wires can uh, even have 1.5, 1.3 millimeters or 1.5, so I made them, made them a little thicker to make this a little more realistic. Now let's add some slack. And you'll notice in Gati v 5 when you have wires going in the same point, if you add slack to one of them, the same amount of slack will be added to all the other wires. So this is how the connector will uh, look in reality. So the wires will just come and from somewhere the, it will become a bundle. Once you know where the tape will start, so we'll say that the tape starts from here, so the bundle starts from here. So this is how it's going to be in reality, this is how the wires are going to travel to the bundle. So you see that those wires, they have 30 millimeters, and those wires, they have 46 millimeters length. So this is a big difference between them. And the manufacturing plant will not do this, so they will not measure each individual wires because that doesn't make any sense it takes too much time but they will ask you only the length from this retainer to this side of the connector and then they will know where the tape starts so you can add this length from the retainer to the where the tape ends when on the drawing so they will fix this connector like this here fix this retainer here on their working table and just add the wire so they will automatically become this length. They will just do a 90 degrees dress up, so this is how it's called. So if you have this issue and you need to do this detail, do not hesitate to do it and just leave it like that in the general CAD model. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.